Hello, this is Tony Callis. I want to talk about the basics of automotive servicing and where it started. So if you look back to what the original term tune-up used to mean, it was where the, the Model T's or the early, early cars, the first cars, where they would take the ignition system, the spark plug uh, wires, and they would take a tuning fork and actually hit it and listen and tune the spark to that tuning fork. That was a tune-up. Nowadays, there's so little we can do. We replace an air filter, we replace spark plugs, and that's about it. The tune-up actually is with you. The tune-up starts with you getting the oil changed and making sure you use a top-tier fuel. I can't emphasize how much, it, how important it is to use a top-tier fuel from a well-known company. Porsche actually put a bulletin out saying, do not use certain types of fuel. If I must, I'll tell you, it's Costco, and it's Arco, you've got to be careful about some of these fuels. I'm not saying they're bad, I'm telling you what I've, I've read from Porsche's bulletins. Um, so I would say these major fuel companies, Exxon, Mobil, uh, I prefer Shell and then Chevron. Uh, Exxon's fine, Mobil, 76, if you still have Texaco, Gulf, these major companies are fine if you use their top tier fuel. Why do I mention Shell and Chevron? Because they have the best additive packages. You can kind of laugh at their, their terms of their nitrogen enriched and, and all of this and their tecrolene, but they do matter and they do work. I have a very simple analogy that I've told my clients where you have a fireplace and you can light the fireplace with engine oil because it's flammable or you can, it's a petroleum product or you can use a diesel or you can use an alcohol. And in the end, the oil is going to leave a soot and it's going to leave a heavy tar where the diesel is going to burn cleaner and the, the alcohol is going to burn super clean. That's how it works in your engine. You want those injectors to run as clean as possible. But now with ethanol laden fuels, we're ending up with problems with our injectors because ethanol absorbs water and moisture. And it, it, it's a real problem that we're seeing. Injectors now are consumable. You want to replace your injectors, I would say, every 60,000 miles. So you can say 80, but I think that's a bit much. So 60 to 80,000 miles, I would make sure you replace your injectors. Now, there's going to be some people that snicker about that. But in the end, you're not going to be able to quantify where the problem actually is. How do we know when it's an injector problem? Because we have a lean or rich running problem, and we've eliminated all uh, air leaks. It's not that simple to find these problems. Or we have an engine that has gone bad because an injector has been washing a cylinder down with too much fuel. Because when you have too much fuel, you don't have the lubrication of the engine oil in there that you should. So I would start replacing your injectors if you haven't done it at this point and the car's been short distance driven and it's a 30,000 mile car and it's 20 years old, you might think about putting injectors in. The problem with a lot of these injectors is they need to be replaced because you can't take them apart and clean them like in the older injectors. Um, another problem we're having is, you've heard of this documentary, The Plastic Storm is Coming. We have plastics in everything now. Engine oil pans are plastics. And don't think that they're not wicking uh, petroleum products out of them. They get brittle and dry. And this fuel, this ethanol fuel is really difficult on these plastic items, especially these plastic injectors and their pintles. So with all these plastic items like the dipstick tube and the oil filler tube, the intake systems, um, the air oil separators. These are definitely issues that we're seeing with, with fuel, the ethanol fuel. And what's interesting is when I look at in older cars, everything up to 89 with these rubber hoses, they're not cracking on the inside where the ethanol is. They're cracking on the outside of the hose. So the fuel's on the inside, but it dries out the hose and they crack, big cracks on the outside. And there have been many fires in, uh, I'll pick out uh, the few early fuel injected cars, which started in 73 and a half. That has polyamide lines. But then later in the Carreras, which the 84 through 89s, most common fire threat cars because of their, of their rubber hoses. Okay, so what do, what do I recommend? Changing your engine oil with a, a high quality boutique type of engine oil, uh, such as Driven or Brad Penn or Motul. So Driven is my top choice. Um, be careful if your, your car is under warranty, you wanna pick an A40 or a C30 or be careful of the type of oil you're putting in there just to make sure that you don't void your warranty. 
uh, change your engine oil every three to 5,000 miles. If you go 5,000 miles, you'll be fine. I don't think there's an issue with every 3,000 miles. We run pro race cars. I've been running pro race cars since I was uh, a kid. My father ran them in Camel GT series. And we've changed the oils consistently. What was good yesterday may not be good today. So be careful of what you choose. Listen to uh, people like LN Engineering because they are keeping up on what's going on with lubricants. You want to match the lubricant with with um, the type of driving you're doing. And if you, if you do have a Porsche, please drive your car. Uh, it was kind of known as a joke when I used to say, and people go, how, how can it be when you drive your car hard, you don't wear it out? I see the differences in these engines and how they run. I hate to admit this to you, but if you bring your car in, one of the only things I can do to really make it run better other than replacing spark plugs and air filter is go out and drive it really hard. And I see carbon coming out the tailpipe and I hear it pinging until I keep going full throttle from, from off the stop and full throttle and, and pushing the engine. But it has to be at operating temperature and it has to have plenty of oil in it. So changing the engine oil regularly, using a top tier fuel, and most importantly, a fuel additive. Now, there are differences of opinions of, of how often to put these, this in. And what I like to do is, even if it's a quarter of a bottle per tank of fuel, or one bottle per every other tank or something like that, you're not gonna hurt your engine. You're not going to hurt your injectors. You're only going to do good. So with this modern fuel that we have now, these ethanol-based fuels, this is the best thing you can do for it. Okay, thank you.